Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to encrypt your files and folders on Linux using VeraCrypt. Whether you want to secure your sensitive data or just add an extra layer of protection, VeraCrypt is a fantastic open source tool that will get the job done. So let's dive right in. Before we begin, let's quickly talk about what VeraCrypt is. VeraCrypt is a free and open source disk encryption software that allows you to create encrypted volumes on your computer. It's available on multiple platforms, including Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, making it a versatile choice for securing your data. First, we need to install VeraCrypt. Go to the official website and download the installer. Since we are installing on Linux, scroll down to the Linux section. Myself, I'm installing on Ubuntu 24.04. So I will download the dev package for this OS. The file is now downloaded. Open your terminal and change the directory to the folder where you downloaded the installer. Usually the default download folder is the download folder unless you changed it. Install the downloaded package using the dpkg command. There are some dependency errors. Let us fix them. You typically run this command when a package installation or upgrade has been interrupted, or if you encounter an error message like packages have unmet dependencies or package is in a half installed state. This command helps to fix those issues by completing the configuration of any packages that are stuck in an incomplete state. It's a useful troubleshooting tool for resolving package management issues on Debian-based systems. Let us try installing the software again. Once the installation is complete, you can launch VeraCrypt from your applications menu or by typing VeraCrypt in the terminal. Now that VeraCrypt is installed, let's create an encrypted volume where you can securely store your files and folders. Select a drive slot and click Create Volume. Select Create an encrypted file container and click Next. Choose Standard VeraCrypt Volume and click Next. 
You can create hidden volumes if you want. Click Select File to choose a location and name for your encrypted volume. Avoid choosing an existing file because this will overwrite it. Click Next. You can create a folder anywhere you want and give it any name you want. Choose the encryption algorithm. AES is usually a good choice for its balance between speed and security. Click Next. Specify the volume size. This depends on how much data you need to secure. Click Next. Create a strong password. Make sure it's complex and memorable because if you lose this password, you will not be able to access your data. Next, select a file system for your container. FAT is the safest option because it works on all operating systems. Move your mouse randomly within the VeraCrypt window, preferably until the progress bar fills up. This action enhances the cryptographic strength of the encryption keys, making them more secure. Finally, click Format to begin creating the encrypted volume. Once the process is complete, you'll see a success message. You can then close the volume creation wizard. Click Select File and choose the encrypted volume you just created. Click Mount and enter the password you used while creating the volume. Enter your system password or root password. Once mounted, the volume will appear just like a regular drive in your file manager. You can now copy files and folders into it, and they will be automatically encrypted. Don't forget to dismount your volume when you're done using it to ensure your files remain secure. And that's it. You've successfully encrypted your files and folders using VeraCrypt on Linux. Remember, encryption is a great way to protect your sensitive data from prying eyes. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.